Sustainable environment refers to the responsible use and management of natural resources to ensure their availability for future generations. Town planners play a crucial role in promoting sustainable development and protecting the environment. Given the above, the Lagos State Physical Planning and Permit Authority LASPA recently held a three-day retreat program from May 11 to 13, 2023 at the Theatre Hall in the Ekpe local government area of the state. The theme of the retreat was Sustainable Environment and the Role of Town Planners in Lagos States. The retreat brought together several stakeholders including the Honorable Commissioner of the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development general managers from different power status and agencies, directors from both the Ministry and the Lagos State Physical Planning Permit Authority, HODs, district officers and developer representatives, among others. The first day of the event commenced with the registration of participants, followed by the opening prayer led by the HOD PPRSD Town Planner Mrs. Busola Olatun. Blessed be your holy name, Father, for in Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we be seated? The General Manager Laspa Town Planner Oshinaiki Kende gave the opening remarks. We recognize the influences, the interferences, and likely conflicting interests top of which is the dimension which was in the stormy situation. Consequently, the retreat was carefully packed to afford us the opportunity to recline with our key staff to the serene environment, to relax our nerves from the Austin and Boston of Lagos Metropolis, to review our practices, policies, and processes, to re-strategize our operation, our approaches, to redeem our public image, the general public being directly beneficiary of our products and services. Basically, the achievement of the sustainable Lagos is the direct responsibility of LASPA as the preventer of the various operative development plans prepared by the ministry. Undoubtedly, unsustainable environment is not a work in the park, just like any other cities of the world, and if it is achievable, while the permanent secretary, MPP and UD engineer Uluwale Shotire and special advisor EGIS Dr. Olajide Abiodun Babatunde delivered goodwill messages with a short presentation. Where do we think we should be? Are we working towards it? Are we prepared for it? Are we ready to work with other agencies? You know, it's not, it's not about um, wanting to impose our own ideas on them all the time. But it's getting them, them to understand what we want to do. I mean... Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, in most, we're doing a simulation room. You know, I'm having a discussion with our power share, I can do that, I can set up our share, I can launch a drone train, I have my license, I'll be doing it. Those who are interested in becoming drone pilots, because when I mean all the agencies that are giving GIS units will be empowered to be able to fly their own drones. So we are happy we are building a simulation room now that gives you like real life experience so that you can understand exactly how you can fly a drone. The Honorable Commissioner MPP and UD Engineer Tayo Bangboshe Martins then gave the keynote address and declared the retreat open. Your Majesty, in all things, and in all this, and therefore, help us with it, both the states and also the mainstream people, with one name. And in the name of our government, and on behalf of every one of us, I declare the 
The first paper titled 21st Century Trending Issues in Physical Planning and Development was presented by town planner Timilei Odunayo, representing his principal partner, town planner Ayo Adedino, who was unavoidably absent. 21st Century Trending Issues in Physical Planning and Development. There is no better time than now to have these deliberations because indeed there are issues of physical planning around us. And leaders in the base center for all other states in Nigeria and even some developing countries in Africa as a whole, it is important for us to always be ahead as anticipated of us. Physical planning development in the United States has been a issue of concern for most. The director A and H R gave a vote of thanks to conclude the day's activities. We really want to thank you. We appreciate our commissioner, our essay, our permanent secretary, all our directors present, all my wonderful deacons. I really appreciate it. I don't show up with that. It is my prayer that the essence of this retreat will not be lost. That by the time we are done, we will be able to reflect and chart a new course and strategize and move forward and take last far to the greater heights. Thank you very much. The second day of the retreat featured five paper presentations, all focusing on the theme of the events. The first paper titled, Importance of Obtaining a Planning Permit Before Construction, was presented by town planner Fumi Oshifuye. This means red marks in normal uh, English dictionary. It also means significance, it means value, that is something of great worth or premium is attached to obtaining planning permits before construction commences. Planning permits is therefore a license or authorization to build, to construct, to renovate, to repair, and etc. before a construction can take place. Whereas construction is the heart and act of constructing, developing, and planning an area. That is the way or the method, manner, style, and procedure in which size the need for property developers to obtain the necessary permits before commencing construction. The second paper, Positioning LASPA towards the actualization of a sustainable environment, was presented by town planner Latif Oladeidi. What is sustainability? What is term environment? Like I said, we are all planners and we have gone through this one time or the other in our various institutions. We're just trying to, you know, update our memories. Then the third one will be understanding the concept of sustainability in physical environment. Then we'll look at the challenges of sustainability, then statutory functions of LASPA and the organogram. What are the roles of LASPA in addressing issues of sustainable Lagos physical environment? We'll look at the challenges of LASPA and provision of requisite resources to strengthen LASPA in achieving a sustainable Lagos. Then recommendation and conclusion. Well, let me just say this. We are aware of the fact that the God Almighty Allah that created every one of us was the first planner. Do we agree with that statement? Who highlighted LASPA's role in ensuring that physical development is carried out in an environmental sustainable manner. The third paper, Parley with the Association of Developers, was presented by Mr. Oladejo, 
representing the Association of Developers in Lagos State. From the standpoint, from the, from the authority standpoint, you know, we're saying, how do we feel, what, you know, once, once we feel our pulse, how do we feel it from the business standpoint? You know, from those on the other end, without development, there won't be anybody to, you know, to approve any permits. If there's no bid, what will we, we approve? You know, I was in Abuja yesterday, and it was so sad that as I drove through the city, I didn't see cranes working. You know, I want of the economic indicators in any city you go. You want to know if that city is doing well, you have to just check the number of cranes, check the construction activities going on in that city. It's an indicator that the city is doing well or not doing as well. So in Abuja, I was, everywhere was quiet, you know. I lived in that city for about 20 years. I developed in the city, you know, prior to coming to Lagos. You know, and I see that there's almost virtually no activity you know, going on in that city. I mean, we don't want that to go to the compared to Lagos. You see, Lagos is the high of active construction activities. His paper discussed the importance of collaboration between LASPA and property developers in achieving sustainable developments. He solicited continuous education of their members to achieve a sustainable environment. The fourth paper, The Relevance of Emotional Intelligence in a Built Environment, was presented by Mr. Binga Afolayo. He highlighted the importance of emotional intelligence, EI, in the built environment. In this, I wanted us to look at a statement by Joshua Friedman. Quite a lot of what we have been speaking about today has to do with problem solving, both at the macro and micro level, uh, both at the state and also at the organizational level. And what he's saying is for us to solve problems, we must be able to grow emotional intelligence. Why? Emotions pack information. Emotions pack facts. Emotions tell us when there are issues, when there are problems, and for that matter, emotions also. When we manage emotions effectively and we are aware of emotions, it can serve as a source of motivation. He emphasized that EI is critical to creating a conducive work environment and ensuring that development projects are completed successfully. The fifth paper, Mental Health, was presented by Mrs. Mobolan Lidu, a psychologist and social worker. She discussed the impact of mental health on physical development and emphasized the importance of mental health in the workplace. Quality relationships, it might affect you mentally. You know, you can, when you volunteer in your community, your time, your talents, your treasures, you know, when we see all these older people doing this, maybe people that have um, retired, you know, it's just a way for them to keep busy, for them to activate their, the good side of their mental health. They need it for growth, for their health. So you need to be, you know, relevant in whatever way you feel is good for you. Always keep in touch with old friends and family members. That is why old school association is very key. You know, it relieves your childhood days. You know, when you have some people, you know, they, they, it could be good, bad. She encouraged LASPA staff to prioritize their mental well-being. The participants expressed satisfaction with the retreat and the atmosphere was filled with joy and fun at the gala night which marked the end of the event.
is the tip of the iceberg. I crave your indulgence. Be seated for just two minutes. We're leaving the. Highlighted essential aspects of physical planning ranging from the need for permits before construction to emotional intelligence, mental health and sustainability. The insights provided by the papers will undoubtedly contribute to achieving sustainable development in Lagos states. This report was compiled, edited and brought to you by Cable Plus Property Media Group. Till will come your way, kindly check for more on any issue related to land and landed property on our YouTube page or any of our social media at Cable Plus Property.